DK Corp. Bit of a dump and run there in the midfield. Just trying to find each other, but Vatira. Oh my goodness! Magic from Vatira off the ceiling. He's got a rabbit in his hat, pulls it out at the perfect time. Alakazam, top shelf. And K Corp looking unstoppable. How do you stop that? The answer, you can't. It again. It's that BDS pressure. Mm -hmm. I feel like as long as it's mistake free, they get it. But hang on, Exotic, the flick, Itachi, the hook, Vatira, the shot. Do it again. Five seconds. K Corp will not be stopped. When will you learn your lesson? How many times with a textbook do we have to smash you over the forehead before you learn? Field boost taken by his teammate. Monkey Moon wins. Seiko denied again, this time by Exotic. And now the counterattack. Batira 1, Batira 2, Batira Dunk, Batira! Are you kidding? Batira, the far touch, the unbelievable poise in OT. Unreal! The position they were last mm -hmm. time, Spaceman. Constantly pushed back to their corners, into their wall. They get this initial clear, and Vatira actually gonna kick That's it across. It. Oh, and he hit him on the angle! You simply can't have Vatira have this much space to deliver a pass. Exotic did this in San Diego. He's like the sticky hands you get at the dentist for doing a good job. He's on the wall. You gotta pull harder to get him off. Of superstars. They are able to go up a couple of gears. Maybe it starts now. Oh. It. Wax it in off the post. KC back in the game. Wow, what a transition here. Itachi sees Exotic wide open, splits the defenders, and splits the post. It's perfect, but Zen gets in the way as well as he can. Those in pre-flips again. It's oh, a little baby. bit awkward from Vitality. Oh. Exotic's back, slams it into the top corner. 3-0 just like that. The 1-2-1 one, one passing play. Exotic to Vatira, back to Exotic, just twisting up the defense. Way too heavy. That ball's getting way too far ahead of them, but Exotic keeping themselves here in game number five, keeping it alive. The ball was getting ahead of Carmine Court, but maybe Vitality got ahead of themselves. Alpha thought he was invincible. In that element, it's a free shot for it. Actually, decides to pass instead. Carmine Court puts together a team play, but Tira slots it. And you know, based on Itachi's boost total here, I think he's made the correct choice. Yeah. I love as well as so there was a little stuff threat as well, which meant that as Growly was coming in, he can't time that the way he wants to. Please don't do that again. <laughs> Please. <laughs> again. I can't make any promises, Sugar. You, you oh, don't want bomb. me to start getting biased for KC, do you? <laughs> oh. This I, is how you get me biased for play. KC. Oh, it's such a good play there by Vatira. He actually just won two passes to himself, centers it, and then bumps the goalie. But what an effort. But now it's actually oh, got no. bang oh. of a shot. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Whoa, counter attack by Garmin Carp. The 50 goes middle. Exotic smashes it to Itachi. Who gets a 131 kph shot. Three of them were scored in the opening minute. And we're going to need more. Vatera will provide oh. two goal leads. Surely, surely this one is done. Oh, it's just too good for Vatera. Just. That first touch pass, Rezi, is all he needed. Prime Corp did not see the challenge coming. You know, this is what Hogan would have to do if they're going to have a chance. Oh, the shrink's just too good, though. Exotic sniping top ends is not good news for the underdogs. Oh, it's just right up there, isn't it? Oh, what a pass. Oh, fantastic. Oh, the shot is phenomenal. The whole play is sublime. Carmine Corp in a nutshell. Pitch Monkey going central, but Vatira is there to lurk and wait. Goes to the ceiling, goes to Batball, down for that <laughs> triple. <laughs> And with as many touches as you like, it is a French fancy goal. This is just a highlight reel right now. Vitira down the other end, it's Monkey Moon down the other one. And I think that's really helping this team out, just having a new face, a new oh. idea of how to play the game. But well, Itachi's got other ideas, slots that one home and gets the lead for Keiko. And Vatira picking up that back corner boost into the immediate demo on the defender. On and opening your way back into this game. Still half the game left here, though. They do have the early lead, the first on the board. Itachi, flip reset, Monkey Moon's getting bumped. Bump. Another go win. It's, Exotic just gets the cleanup crew back post, but it was the bumps coming through, the aggression, and Itachi the beat out and flip reset. That's special. He snuck it through the gap that Seiko has left between the ceiling and One himself. Second. This match seemed over. Then Guild have stepped up a level or two, but Tira's got his fourth. Just starting to stat pad at the moment. This is a significant match as well, because we did talk about 
Guild's chances to maybe make the major. That time he clearly was. Guild starting to put it together a little bit. Oh, Exotic's dunked on them though. Just when it looked like they might barely survive, it's in the back of their net. I would love to just start watching the amount of free jumps that we are seeing from Guild. Like, they are so panicked. CK Corp. Bit of a dump and run there in the midfield, just trying to find each other. But Vatira, oh my goodness, magic from Vatira off the ceiling. He's got a rabbit in his hat, pulls it out at the perfect time. Alakazam, top shelf, and K Corp looking unstoppable. But they're going to have to field this one off the back wall. Exotic did just that. Atashi now, 1v1 against Monkey Moon, tries to get the delayed flick and the bump oh to put it away. Oh my gosh, let's just keep extending them. Put the nail in the coffin. Itachi pulls out Monkey Moon and pushes him back into the net. Now Exotic looking oh for a second boy. touch and look at him go all the way across the net from the back wall and K-Corp up one. Look at the angle he finds on this shot. He gets two to go, but my goodness. If you had a trillion channel points, you'd have put them on Vatira scoring that one. And you may well have lost, but here they come again, Carmine Corpse. Then he's just camped in the goal line. Matera does not miss twice. We're going to have the first bracket set in any region of the season. Ladies and gents, run it back because we're going all over again. It's Vitira. Guess who? Who else for K-Corp putting it away in the overtime? Oh, he's almost got the pinch. Vitira, though, could get the flip reset underneath for Dose. Now over Zen. Brilliance now from Vitira. He just makes something out of nothing again here. Off the kickoff, he finds it off the side wall, fakes the flip reset, fakes the shot as well. Zen had to respect it. If the ball does go over them, they were still fine. They managed to read that hard clear was not really possible there. Oh my goodness, Vatira's just got a flick and no one's challenging. 1-0. And I am so shocked not to see someone go for him here. Rise and Seiko both thought the other would go. Matatachi's coming to drop the hammer and it gets smashed into the corner. Joyo just saying, please, somebody get this ball out of here and bang, top right corner. One second left, Vatira ices one. It just felt inevitable. Brilliant pass from Exotic, and Vati oh. does not oh. miss. Oh. And now, uh, Crowley, looking at our spring points, we, we have our teams locked in there for the major. Yeah, I mean, of course, you got Vitality there at the top at 72, BDS, K Corp, Liquid, and of course, Moist around things out with Hogan Mode falling to BDS. That locked it in uh, for Moist being in top five here for the spring points. And by the way, you had mentioned, you know, we'll see about the future. I believe I saw a tweet uh, while that series was going on that Hogan Mode are, are planning on sticking it together, uh, sticking awesome. together.